tonight is the second night of Kwanzaa. The seven day celebration of family, community and culture lasts until January 1st. The holiday started in 1966. Michael Beta has more. A lot of people think the week between Christmas and New Year's is kind of a lost time where nothing is going on, but that couldn't be further from the truth. It's actually Kwanzaa and a great opportunity to learn about the other people we share this world with. It's an African-American celebration, but it's for everybody. Wednesday was the second day of Kwanzaa 2023, or the celebration of the principle of Kujichakalia. Kujichakalia. When we're called to explore and understand self-determination. Self-determination is what you see around us. And perhaps there's no better place to do it than at the Stiles African American Heritage Center in Five Points. It was founded by Grace Stiles, who after teaching in Denver Public Schools, continued to give back to her community after she retired. She realized um, during her teaching that kids were getting enough African American history. So when she retired, she actually purchased these two buildings and turned it into an African American Heritage Center. The celebration started with a candle lighting, one for each principal celebrated so far. And then the attendees learned about what it means to be in control of your life, the way some of our greatest Americans have been. The theme is based on African harvest festivals, and the goal is to show that despite all our differences, we're all fundamentally the same. And like a village struggling against all odds to grow food to feed the community, we should be united in achieving a better society. With everything that's going on today, we need to show unity. And so maybe in the future, you will see things differently and see people differently because you see what they went through and, you, and you've learned their experience. There are plenty of Kwanzaa activities going on throughout the city, including here outside the Blair Caldwell Library, where you can come every night at 5.30 and witness the lighting of the Grand Canara, which is behind me. In Denver, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First.